George and I have four different mods before we start this, and then we're gonna force Dimitri and Michaela later on whenever they join, whatever episode that ends up well, being. Well, the thing is, the thing is, those are those are client side. Those are server mods, meaning the as long as we play on my server, those are the only mods we can run. Oh, okay. However, if Dimitri were to host a server or Michaela were to host a server, they could run their own server side mods, and we'd have to get those. Gotcha. Then so, there's a ton of client side mods that you can get that you can run anywhere. So yeah, the four that we have are extra equipped slots. We can see health bars. We can see uh, what was it? Uh, how much hunger stuff gives us back, and then and something about a heat bars. stone. Oh, no, and, yeah, a thermal stone that's will never it. break. Okay, so that's um, that's I'm... just going from here on out. If you're a purist, leave my channel. Damn it. Just kidding. Please, please, please stay. I'm desperately trying yeah, to hit a thousand. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan is a very purist i don't want to say he's like a diehard purist because he'll play with mods if i'm running them but if it's his own server no mods i see all right launch which the game bad, which, let's which isn't bad compendium history of travels oh i see this is cool cookbook i got no recipes george Samuel Sonite, are you here? Yes. Go join me. I'll join you. Okay, um... I've joined your game. Who do I want to play? Me! Me! You want to play with me? No, no. Who do I want to play, not who do I want to play with? George, what's the, what's the password? Suck music. No caps, no spaces. Um... Should I play War Talks? George. What? Who should I play? Uh, it depends. Who do you want to play? I don't know if I want to your, learn for your or first, not. Okay. You're going to want to learn. Okay. I'll play the... You're going to have a You're gonna have a lot to learn. I would recommend just playing Wilson. Okay. Uh... No. You should have little to no cosmetics right now. That's fine. Hey, who's this Maxwell guy? I, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Maxwell. Don't. Not yet. Not for your first time. He is very difficult to understand. I got no cosmetics. That's fine. I want to be the mad scientist. Um, you'll get that in time. What sucks is I have that. I want it. You'll get it. Ooh, Gosh. hello. Hey, what's up? Okay, so I am Wartox. So I'm Wartox. That means I'm an imp. So if we find, um, you know what? I'm just going to let you explore and I'll explain what you want me to explain when necessary. Also, watch this. What are you doing, Joshua? What did you just do? Stole it, soul. Why? Because Wartox is special. I harvest souls from dead things, and I can use them for stuff. But you made it dead! Yeah, hey, Sam, you know how I'm over here? Where? Hang on. Whoa! How'd you do that? With I spend a soul, and I teleport. That is one thing Wartox can do. Oh, you can see my mouse. That's unfortunate. I'm actually going to turn that another off really quick. Another thing Wartox can do is heal, and judging by... How I know you want to play this, you're going to want to be healed. Thank you, okay, George. Sam, Sam Hunt, how many twigs do you have right now? Three. Okay, take two of this flint. Make yourself a pickaxe. Whoa. You can find flint. You can find flint just kind of scattered around, but I gave you two to help you out. Pickaxe, so make you a said? Pic pickaxe, yes. Did it. Okay, now, unequip the pickaxe, because we're not going to need it just yet. What did I make it for? For later, when we will need it. How do, I, how do I unequip stuff? Right-click it in your hand. Like, if you go down to the bottom right of your toolbar, you should see hand. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Yeah. How, how Grass do I... and twigs. Oh, I see. I, I'm getting it. Yeah. Grass and twigs are going to be very important. We need, we're need. we going to want lots and lots and lots of that, so... Two full stacks nice. should be good. Actually, a full stack of these are 40. I can't swim. No, you cannot. 
None of us can. I want to. In fact, in fact, the water kills us. What? Why? Um, because none of the characters know how to swim. Also, there's things in the water, but we'll get to that. <laughs> Wait, you never told me about that. I've never done water exploration. I don't okay, think that's we not true. I've done very, very little. We are going to build a boat if need be, but that's not to sail because that water is nigh uncrossable. The only thing we can use to cross that water is a boat. And sometimes we'll find a really good space for a base, but the problem is there's not enough space because there's a, a river or something. So we can use a boat as like a bridge. What if we just build like 40... Uh... We hey. cannot build bridges, no. That what is if, not a thing that exists. What if we build like 350 boats? And just... I guess technically we could cross the world, but that would require a lot of wood. There's so many trees. <laughs> you say that now, but you need a lot of wood to do things in this game. Also, I... replanting. Replant is very important. What's this? Uh, that... Okay, that is a moleworm mound, I believe. Oh! There he is. That's... I want it! Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You, you, watch, watch those. He's under the ground. He's looking for rocks. Take out your pickaxe. I'm gonna drop this flint here. Where's my pickaxe? Okay, Sam. This is a mole worm. Now, Sam, uh, we're gonna take your pickaxe and we're gonna kill it. George, I can't find my pickaxe. Did you drop it somewhere? I don't think. Oh, here it is. I'm I'm just stupid. Okay, so I'm gonna drop my flint when it goes for it and pops out. Kill it. Do I just click? Click on it. Beat it. There we go. Also, can I have that flint back, please? How do I drop it? Uh, you can just click it and then click me, and it'll give it to me. All seven? Yes, all of it was mine. <laughs> all right. Now, I have a pickaxe, and I actually have some extra flint, so I'm going to make both of us an axe. Nice. Something so, tells me it's getting late. Come here. I'm picking flowers. Here. Now you have an axe. Let's chop down some trees so we can make a... We're not going to make a fire first night, but we are going to make a torch. Man, if Dylan were here, he would tell you absolutely nothing. Why? Because he, he's a, he's kind of the way I am. I want you to experience it, but Don't Starve is a game that you do kind of need to know a little bit of what you're doing. Chopping down trees. Also, also I like hearing myself talk. So, <laughs> not gonna lie, that is a big part of it. <laughs> Sam, what is your hunger currently at right now? Ninety-eight. All right, your max is 150, I believe, so... Hungry! You're not, you're not horrible. Um, I'd chomp some carrots real quick, though. Like, maybe two or three. You actually don't want to always walk around at max hunger, just because there's no real point. Um, however, if you're Wolfgang, you want max hunger. Yeah, from what you were telling me, that's kind of important for him. Okay, try not to waste your axe on anything less than fully grown trees. How do I know if it's... Oh, I see. Yeah. There's three types of trees. Uh, these two are stage two. Like these two right here. Yeah. This one is stage one. And this one all the way over here is fully grown. George, I think I'm going to jump in this. In what? It's called a wormhole. Uh, don't. Come to me, actually. Like right now. <laughs> kind of want to jump in the wormhole. Why is it so dark? I can't see nothing. All right, follow me. I'm a little scared. From what I understand, uh, there's one overarching monster that rules the night. Yes, it is invincible. We cannot kill it. I'll kill it eventually. We can't even see it. <laughs> I'll kill it. Literally, all we can do is live against it. How? Light. Any so if, source of so light. So if I go like this... Yeah, stay out there. I'm afraid to. No, go ahead. Stay out there. Ah! Charge! Charge! 
Yeah, so, uh... That's Charlie. The night monster. When you hear that sound, she's about to hit you. She... Don't be there when she's about to hit you. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some butterfly wings real quick. That's so gross. That was the shortest night I've ever been a part of. They get longer. Winter is especially rough, because half the day is dusk. Um, okay, Sam, come here. Come here. I'm getting mushrooms. I need to start putting all this stuff down somewhere. Well, we need a base for that, but we can't base anywhere yet. Why not? Okay, you, see, you see this rock up here? Yeah. Uh, you should know what to do. I'm a pickaxe it. No, it wouldn't fit in your pocket, Stu, but I'm trying to change things around here. So Whack. Sam, another thing. Good job. Okay, you see this yellow-looking rock here, Niter? Yeah. It is absolutely useless. Like, like, put it down. <laughs> it, is, it is useless. <laughs> Why can't okay, I drop it? Click the Niter and put it on the ground. There you go. Okay, now come with me. You said you wanted to jump through this thing, right? Yeah. Let's go. Hopefully, we're not where I think we're going to be. Okay, no, this is fine. Now, if you hit M and look at your map, that's how far away we are from that original wormhole. Oh, they're linked. Yes, every two wormholes are linked. Every time we find the end of one, we can jump through and find the end of the other. Oh, Christ. Okay, those are frogs. We don't want to fight those. I don't. I can't fight anything, I don't think. Do I have a sword option to build stuff? No, but eventually we'll get a spear. Okay, what we want to look for right now is rocks containing gold. Because if we do that, we can build a science machine, and that'll allow us to craft some pretty good stuff. Hey! Oh, oh it's a freaking here. goblin. Wait, no, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Get your axe ready. I'm going to put my berries on the ground, and it should come right to us, and we just body it. With the tree axe. Yes. Ow! Okay, so that's why I hate frogs so much. Not only do they hurt, but they steal your stuff. What? Okay, let's go this way. Actually, no, let's not hey, go that way. beehive! Back. Back. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Ah! Sam, run. Okay, so you've experienced frogs and killer bees in the span of three seconds. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Yeah. Now, this this may be unethical, but Did I you? just released some souls to heal us. Nice. This is why I played Wartox. I can also eat them. Hey, I made something, I think. What'd you, what'd you make? Um, hang on, let me try and find it. Where did it go? I want to surprise you. I want to show you I'm doing it. Oh, I forgot to hit the build button. Okay, so that's a grass suit. Um, That's not really useful. <laughs> I'm doing it. Okay, well... Okay, I found a rock containing gold. Sam, come here. I want you to learn to recognize these things. Because if you're going to play this game in your off time, like I'm expecting... Okay, these rocks contain gold. These are really, really, really important. There's one above me. Go mine that. Like That's a rock that contains gold. <laughs> hey, there's there's headstones. Oh, yeah. If we had a shovel, we could dig them up, get stuff. Why would we do that? Because uh, we want it. Okay, that's a spider mat. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Um, okay, don't fight that. Do not fight that. Let's just leave. Actually, we can fight this one spider. We can fight this one spider. How do you... Okay, do... now run away. Ah! Okay, so that's a spider mound. Spiders live there. Not, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Put that away. I okay, see torches they run will last. Quick. Torches will last, I think, like a night and a half. Oh, <gasps> no way! Yes! Oh, I just found one of the best items in the game. What is it? The I just picked up an eye bone. And this spawns Chester. And Chester is a mobile chest. I want I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a bee stinger and pine cones in there. 
Now open them up. I see. I'm gonna put now, he... Okay, now listen. Chester is gonna go wherever the eye bone goes. So if I drop the eye bone and I walk away, he's gonna stay right there. If I pick up the eye bone and start moving, he should follow me if you get out of his inventory. Chester! Hey, it's another mole worm. That wasn't very nice. We need it. So, finding Chester, especially this early, is very, very good. Because right now we are nomads. We do not have a base yet. So the fact that we have more storage space to work with is very, very, very good. I would like to have a base. We need to find something called Beefalo. If What's we find them, we're going to have a good, uh, like a pretty decent place to make a base. Beefalo. What's That sounds a little... Whoa. Okay, do you remember that yellowy place with all the grass that we, that we were at in the night? Yeah. Okay, that's called the savannah. We need to find another one of those. Because that savannah won't have beefalo in it. It's literally coded to not. However, the second and any other savannas we may find might have beefalo. Pretty good chance. Also, be picking these saplings and everything. We can carry up to 40 of cut grass and saplings each. So, like, no reason not to take them. I'm learning! I'm actually logs, having a good we time. Can, logs, we can only... Okay, these are birch nut trees. We can cut these down and get wood. We also get birch nuts. And the only thing we can really do with birch nuts is cook them and eat them. They're useful, but I prefer normal trees. So if you hit, like, Q, you do the little turny thing? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to use my torch first, and then when it runs out, you're going to use yours, and hopefully we have enough durability to last the night. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is the strat we're, we're working with. Oh, boy. Oh, hey. Okay, if you look on your map... Um... There's no, like, okay. north and south. Okay, Sam. You have a torch, correct? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um... So. There's a piece of land way over there. T take your torch, thank you. Um, how, what durability is your tor torch at? Uh, like, 85. We're fine. Four. We're completely fine. Okay, so when day comes, I'm gonna teleport... Because, okay, I forgot to mention, I have a few client-side mods, such as a mini-map. Okay. I can see there's another piece of land. Oh, by the way, something I should mention now, so it's not a surprise later. I'm an imp. I, I take half as much hunger from items as you do. So a carrot will heal you. A carrot's going to give you 12 hunger. For me, it gives six. Uh-oh. Anyways, later. George! I'll be back. I'm just seeing what's over here. You what's go up? explore too. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. Chester's gonna follow me. Take this. I give it to you. Now okay. Chester follows you. You are the bearer. I'm the bearer of the Chester. Yes, and Chester... Uh, he's really, really powerful. Uh, he literally has regenerating health. Oh, good. And he has 450 health at base. How much do we, we have? We can't... Um, de depends on your character. You should have 150. What if I put the eye bone in his inventory? Then he stays right where he is. I see. Chester follows the eye bone. Where the eye bone goes, he goes. Hey, I can make a science machine. I have already made one, but that's good. I'm actually going to be using your gold to make the better science machine. I'll just put it in Chester then? Uh, yeah, put the gold in Chester, sure. Now, there's two types of items in this game. Good and bad? Sorry, that's a bad description. Um, there's two types of craftables, I suppose. You have things that go in your inventory, and I refer to them as structures. And I think they're actually called structures, but whatever. A science machine is a structure. 
So when you make it, it's not going to go in your inventory, but you're going to be able to place it down, like on the ground. And yeah. then that's going to allow us to make... Actually, let's regroup, because you make... I already have my science machine ready to go, so I'll make mine, and then we can craft stuff like backpacks, and then you can make yours when we find a base. Okay. So that, so that way we can carry a bit more with us and... Okay, so go back to those, they're known as Wobster Mounds, like where we split up originally. 